Chick-fil-A is one of America's most popular fast food businesses, and it's no secret that the company excels at providing excellent customer service. As a result, employees at Chick-fil-A often have positive experiences during their time there, and for the seventh year in a row, the chain has won the American Consumer Satisfaction Index outperforming the industry average by five points in 2021. But of course, it's not simple to be the industry leader in customer satisfaction. Besides the positive vibes, Chick-fil-A employees must adhere to specific guidelines. Our video has seven bizarre rules that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow, which range from semi-reasonable to semi-legal. Chick-fil-A is known for its high standards, from its rigorous closed-on-Sunday policy to its meticulous vetting of restaurant owners. But the chain is no less strict when it comes to the rules and restrictions enforced on its employees. Let us look at bizarre rule number 7. Chick-fil-A employees are encouraged to say my pleasure in response to thank you. When you say thank you to a Chick-fil-A staff after receiving your order, he will not be greeted with your welcome. Instead, the more formal my pleasure will be heard. It isn't always because the employee enjoyed what happened. Instead, Chick-fil-A encourages employees to respond with my delight. According to Taze of Home, Christian even said my pleasure as he was changing our tire. <laughs> the tradition of expressing my pleasure instead of your welcome, no issue or sure thing champ, began while Truett Kathy was staying at a Ritz-Carlton luxury hotel. Kathy is the chairperson of the food chain, and he was entirely struck by the statement, which he thought genuinely elevated his experience. A Ritz-Carlton staffer answered Kathy's appreciation with those two fatal words. He recommended that Chick-fil-A personal adopt the phrase, my pleasure, which finally took on and is still used today. Many former employees claim that it's pretty tough to avoid saying my pleasure even though it's not always needed. Isn't that interesting? Bizarre rule number six. Visible tattoos are not allowed at almost every Chick-fil-A location. Until recently, visible tattoos were prohibited for Chick-fil-A employees across the board. Employees were required to purchase specialist sleeves or other clothes that concealed any tattoos visible on arms or other body areas. Although the corporation no longer has an official policy prohibiting visible tattoos, many Chick-fil-A franchise locations still do. While visible ink is not forbidden explicitly by Chick-fil-A policy, a review of employee comments on sites like Glassdoor simply hired and indeed reveals a typically averse culture. However, many locations are more lenient with the unofficial guideline, so a tattoo is a reason to not apply for a job at Chick-fil-A. However, if you want to have dental or bodily changes or wear solid fragrances or extensive cosmetics, you should consider changing your appearance before applying for a job at the franchise. Bizarre Rule Number 5 Employee facial hair is a big deal at Chick-fil-A. If you want to work somewhere where you can flaunt your prized beard, great goatee, or Ambrose Burnside level skills, Look elsewhere than Chick-fil-A. Employees at Chick-fil-A are not authorized to wear any facial hair beyond a well-trimmed mustache as military standards allow. The mustache cannot be larger than the mouth, nor can it be lengthy or thick, and sideburns must be clipped. This regulation is heavily enforced since many Chick-fil-A locations in the United States have store policy handbooks that state that facial hair other than a neatly trimmed mustache is prohibited. For example, the same sentence includes employee handbooks for Chick-fil-A in Hollywood, California, and Chick-fil-A in Orlando Park, Illinois. A team member of Piran's message from a Chick-fil-A on Fulton Street in New York City even says that anyone with unruly facial hair at work must go buy a razor and shave before being clocked in or be sent home. Bizarre Rule Number 4 Employees at Chick-fil-A are like Likewise, restricted in their nail styles. False fingernails are not allowed in customer service areas or food preparation areas, according to several Chick-fil-A employee handbooks. As a result, fake nails are prohibited 
from being worn at work, and it makes sense for a restaurant to restrict items like long acrylic nails that can easily detach and fall into a customer's food. Such regulation is merely pragmatic and has nothing to do with anyone's sense of style or self-expression. According to the National Restaurant Association, there are even regulations in several areas regarding false nails. On the other hand, Chick-fil-A's guidelines address style and self-expression beyond state law. According to former CFA employees, most locations do not allow any nail polish other than discreet solid-colored polish or French manicured nails, in which the outer edge of the nail is painted white and the rest of the nail is either nude in polished color or coated in a clear polish. According to State Food Safety, Chick-fil-A is not the only restaurant with this regulation because many establishments have health code standards that pertain to polish potentially chipping during food production. Bizarre Rule Number 3 Employees at Chick-fil-A are not allowed to use unnatural hair coloring. If you work at Chick-fil-A and want to dye your hair, that's no problem as long as you color it black, brown, blonde, red, or a combination of these naturally occurring hair colors, employees at Chick-fil-A are not allowed to use artificial hair colors. So there are no blues, pinks, greens, or purples even if they're only color streaks accentuating your natural hair. It's also simple to style unnatural hair colors or unconventional styles are not authorized. According to several Chick-fil-A employee handbooks, unlike nail polish or limiting materials that may shatter and fall into food makes sense, Chick-fil-A hair A's color prohibition appears to be a product of the company's conservative ethos. As a result, the restaurant's restrictions may discourage some people from applying, while in others it may force staff to hide their sons of style or even self while at work. Bizarre Rule Number 2 only non-peak business hours are allowed for breaks. If you're 18 or older and work at Chick-fil-A, you're entitled to one 30-minute break and a $7 shop credit for each shift longer than 5 hours. But don't get too thrilled, all breaks are planned during off-peak business hours and come with a half dozen off-the-clock staff duties preloaded. In addition, you must have cleaned, tidied your eating space, washed any dishes used, Cleanse your hands and return to the workplace ready to continue your shift by the conclusion of your unpaid meal break. Are you thrilled now? Bizarre rule number one, clean and ironed uniforms must be returned. Chick-fil-A has a few unique policies regarding staff uniform, unkeep, and ownership. First, team members must return their uniforms clean and ironed after leaving Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A retains the right to keep the final paycheck hostage to comply with this guideline. Employees are provided with uniforms for free but must purchase them for $30 if they leave during the first six months of work. A few regulations are challenging but reasonable, a few that are controlling but appropriate given the chain's culture and a few that are at the bottom line. What do you guys think about these seven bizarre rules that Chick-fil-A employees have to follow? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all foodies channel.